We've been lucky enough to work in Uganda for about 10 years now and throughout our time there we have just encountered a lot of young girls who needed a place to live and needed some friends and some hope. So we decided to open up a couple of safe houses and these safe houses are a home for girls who a lot of times have been uh, victims of gender-based violence or have been uh, prostituting themselves uh, for lack of, of any other option. We decided to just rent a home, fill it full of beds and food, and provide these girls with a place that they could stay and be safe for the first time in their life. We have counselors for them. Um, they get to go back to school. They learn different trades. And we have aunties that live in the home with them and take care of them. I'd love to introduce you to my friend Violet. When she was a child, she was abandoned by her parents. And then from there on, uh, her life just kind of took a turn for the worse. She had no connections. She had no money. She had no one in her life who was taking care of her. And so at a young age, she was forced to sleep with men for money to provide for herself. I had no one to support me. I had no food. I had no one completely, no one. Violet came to us, and it's been incredible to see the way that she's thrived since arriving. Now she's one of the leaders in the home, and she's really welcoming the other girls as they come in and teaching them the amazing power of what it's like to transform her own life. And when I came in this place, I learned so many things. I have a career now because they took me to school, and I'm doing beauty. I'm doing hairdressing. We're just super thankful to be able to keep these homes open for more girls like her. And it's because of some people's love that we are in this place. I'm no longer called a prostitute. I'm going to make sure that everything I've learned here, I'm going to help other people out there. And I'm so grateful. We know these homes are so important and so helpful for these girls because their lives are being transformed. But honestly, we feel like the lucky ones because as we witness their joy, our lives are completely changed.